the business has changed. Marine salvage has changed. We don't need a submarine pilot anymore. I've been working on submarines for nearly 30 years. I lost my family to this job. I'd like you to clear your desk. I don't have to take this. I know a way to get money. I need you, Robinson. The film's about 12 men who have all found themselves in a place of desperation. They go on a mission to salvage a haul of Nazi gold on the bottom of the Black Sea. The idea that I originally had was to make a film about the terror, the horror of being trapped underwater. Closing! One of Hitler's U-boats is just sitting on the seabed full of gold. It grew and grew and grew as an idea and it became really quite a big film. What is it you want from me? I need men, half British, half Russian. As the film sort of grew, we began to understand they weren't just desperate, angry men. They were men that were incredibly skillful and incredibly talented, but had kind of just been chucked on the scrap heap of life. How much gold are we talking? $182 million. Equal share every man. We went to find Robinson for the central role, and I needed a man who would appear to be you know, blue collar and somebody who life had you know, taken a toll on. And we thought, wouldn't it be great to get Jude Law? Robinson is someone who feels that the world has dealt him a hard hand. He's prideful and stubborn. What happens when one of them starts to figure out that their share gets bigger and there is less people to... He really proposed that he was going to transform himself and it turned himself into something that you've never seen Jude Law do before. What's going on? Kevin comes from a documentary background, so there is a sense of realism to the films that he makes, we always, you know, wanted it to feel real. Mark it. The challenges of making it have been both glorious and obviously really, really hard. I decided to shoot part of this movie on a real sub and put all the actors onto a real sub and make them experience what that's actually like. Diving, no. found this old Russian sub, which is in Rochester, just on the coast. So Kevin and I came to this submarine not knowing quite what to expect. We went to visit it and we just thought, this is amazing. This is a 1960s Russian sub just sitting there empty, sort of decaying. We thought, wow, that's a, what a place to film our, our movie. You can't be serious. Look, this wreck, this wreck's going to sink. Shooting some of the film, if not all of it, even a couple of weeks, was absolutely imperative to give us the reality of a real submarine, there's a sense of scale and scope. With the real submarine, we really left it as it is because it's just an amazing structure with fantastic sort of detail. You, you really wouldn't want to touch that. But it's incredibly complicated and difficult to shoot on a real submarine. Finding new angles and just the physical proximity of allowing each other space to move around is really grueling. Shooting on the sub definitely gives you a little bit of that feeling of claustrophobia. So they learned how difficult it is to walk past each other, how you bump your head the whole time, how uncomfortable it is, how much it smelled. But if you ever get to a point where you're about ready to moan, you suddenly think, well, well this is what I signed on for. This is a submarine movie, and that's, that's what's sort of making it fantastic fun as well. Submarine films are a genre unto themselves. We're going down. The appeal of the submarine drama is just that subtext the whole time that you're under the water and you can drown and it's really claustrophobic and nobody can hear you scream. Outside, it's just dark, cold death. It's a gripping adventure story. And on top of that, be enormously tense. It's a treasure hunting film set in a very, very treacherous environment. There's a really interesting dynamic being played out between these 12 men. So close our door! Who will survive? We just want to live now. Can we just live? No.